Yo, what's good, family? So it's like four something in the morning. We got tired of the weather looking like this. Look at this, man. Snow. It's snow here in Oklahoma. So we decided to fly first class to change the forecast. Let's get it. The Wealthy Empire Network. I do whatever I feel like. I remember when we dreamed about it. Woke up this morning, it's real life. Trade the whip, trade the currency. Moving like it's an emergency. We gotta check out this close to 11, so baby, ride it with some urgency. I'm just here for the fun part, cause I'm good on the money part. I be leaving in the cold season, coming back for the sunny part. sitting in this freaking six thousand dollar per night room and i just can't i can't even fathom the fact that we here you know what i'm saying this is wild this whole thing is wild uh if you've been on instagram you've probably already seen the room but if you haven't then you're gonna see the room on here but you know i'm just walking through here man i just want to say y'all i want y'all to stay encouraged this year stay motivated this year stay on the gas this year because uh i promise you Ooh, look at that one right there. Hold on, let me show y'all something. Look at my queen. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, you want her looking so good? Ooh. You see that enlaced us with the bed, though. That's for that love making. <laughs> hey, I'm married. You dig what I'm talking about? You best to get happy about it. Ooh. All right, so let me give y'all like a, a small tour, y'all. Let me give y'all a small tour and then we're gonna discuss some things on YouTube about the comeback and why we came back, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna go get something to eat. But I'm gonna start over here first so y'all can see the room because I know y'all been wanting to see it. Uh, so just to let y'all know, this is the Ritz Carlton in Miami. We are on the 18th floor. Look, this is literally the only room on this floor. All those doors are for this same exact room. That's the elevator right there, all right? So peep this, y'all. So you come in, all right? You greet it by this big light, all right? So I'm gonna go this way first, all right? Boom. So when you get here, and you can always bring your friends here. Y'all can come here and kick it and do all that, but I'm just giving y'all a tour in case y'all ever wanna come out here. You know what I'm saying? Boom, a little movie room. You come over here. You greet it by a balcony. All right, we can come outside on this balcony. And it's just gonna show you beautiful Miami, right? Just gonna show you beautiful Miami, right? So this is the first balcony. We're gonna take a step back in here. All right, now real quick, y'all. I just want y'all to know, man, that look, the reason why we came back I ain't gonna tell you yet, because I don't want me and the wife to explain. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all just yet, but look. Let me turn this, I'm working this new camera I got y'all, so I gotta bear with, with your boy right quick. Ugh, there we go, I got it to flip. Boom, so look, living room, we got the piano. I don't even know how to play, but I'll be on that thing, you know what I'm talking about? Then they come over here to this bomb kitchen they blessed us with. Bomb, you know what I'm saying? A whole kitchen for me and the queen. This is what it look like when you have multiple streams of income. This is what it look like when you never give up on your dreams, right? We never gave up. We continue to strive. This is the living room. All right. You come out this beautiful door. And you get the beautiful ocean view. I believe it's the Pacific Ocean, I think. Don't quote me on that. Boat sailing. Look at that. This thing is gorgeous, y'all. This thing's so dang dope, man. 
Jeez. All right, then we come over here. Look at my wife, just looking amazing. Boom, chandeliers. Another dope uh, little room. Little bathroom. Come this way. I don't know if I showed y'all this room yet. But they got this dope tub right here that's so fire. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. Then they got this right here, this mirror. They got a TV in it. The mirror got the TV in it, y'all. Right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Boom. Y'all see the outline? That's the TV inside there. Then they got the sauna. Right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get your steam on. Then they even got the toilet that shoot water in your butt. You feet. What we talking about? Look. Straight motivation, man. I ain't showing y'all this to stunt. I'm showing y'all this because I was broke not too long ago. And I'm out here living now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about how you start. It's about how you finish. Stop listening to people that's broke. Stop listening. Hey, look, if somebody trying to give you advice and they not where you want to be, stop listening to them. I don't care who they is. You know what I'm saying? Respect your parents. But if they talking that broke talk and talking something that goes against what you believe that for yourself that you can do, you listen to it, but you ain't got to take all the advice. If you don't want to go to college, then you ain't got to go. There's so much more money out here doing other things that's legal. You know what I'm saying? I don't rap. I don't play ball. I used to. I can hoot though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? But I don't rap. I don't play ball. And we live in like freaking uh, rock stars. You know what I'm saying? Right now. All glory to God. You know what I'm saying? All glory to God. I don't take no credit for none of this. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the reason why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna scream it to the mountaintops. I think I showed y'all this already, but if I didn't, go. Yeah. But yeah, this is the tub with the view. I'm sure y'all gonna see wifey taking a, a bunch of these. <laughs> and they got another TV in the mirror. Boom, with the two beds in here. Now why would you get a room so big for only two people? You might be asking. Strictly because we can, and strictly because it just motivates us to continue to go. If you can, if you constantly like level up, doing certain things instead of staying at the holiday inn go get something super expensive it's gonna change your mindset you're gonna want to live like this all the time so you're gonna find a way to do it you know what i'm saying so that's kind of why we always stand in crazy dope hotels but uh we about to go eat and then we're gonna address the reason why we came back all right <laughs> Yo, y'all, so everybody wanted to know why is it that we decided to get back on YouTube, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, first and foremost, if you don't walk with God, if you're not familiar with how he operates, then you probably will never understand. Um, yeah, honestly. I said in the clip, I'm about to play it right now. And like I said, the YouTube will still be up, but who knows if the Lord ever, you know, give us a word that we really just need to get That's out. True, yes. We'll still be able to come back on there or something and, and do a video, but we, I just won't be posting until that happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I said in the clip, because I wasn't sure how long the Lord wanted us to be gone. I never said I was done with YouTube forever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I just said until if the Lord wants me to come back, then I will. Mm -hmm. So... While we were gone, which was a much needed break, right? The reason why we left for the most part was because it was just, it just started to be too much. Being in the public eye, like if you're not ever used to it, if you're not ever in this position, right? Yeah, you're not gonna understand. You're not gonna understand. The, the things that come with it. Right. Honestly. It's a lot that come with, like if you don't want nobody to mess with you, just don't get no money. Don't get rich, don't worry about, you know, cause a lot comes with it, you know what I'm saying? Have and, the courage to be disliked. Right, have you the know? courage to be disliked. Because if you're not like strong enough starting out to begin with, it's gonna affect you. And at the beginning, I wasn't strong enough. We weren't strong enough to handle it. It was just too much. Like yeah. and I'm yeah. like, I don't like I don't like that. Especially if you're not used to just being in the public eye like that all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's new for us. Yeah, and when you're dealing with money, you know, people get crazy and weird and stuff like that. But uh <laughs> So it just become a lot, like, and I wasn't used to it, and we wasn't used to it, so it was kind of one of those things where it's like, 
we just need to take a break Stay, from this. Yeah. And it was bothering us so much. That's how I knew the Lord wanted us to kind of remove ourselves from the situation, focus more on him to get that strength yeah. to be able to come back. And I think that's what it was. Um, the reason why we came back, I was asking for confirmation. So we were gone for three months. I was asking for confirmation from the Lord. Like, okay, now what do we do? You know, uh, we're not, you know, mentoring people. We're not, you know, uh, inspiring. We're not leading more people to you. So now what do we do? That was our yeah. time for us to get back in our, our relationship with him. Right. Um, and in that time we did that. That's what we did. Uh, and then we got to a point where we were like, okay, we've done that, Lord. We, we, we feel like we, you know, got where we needed to be. Now what do we do? And I was asking for confirmation, like, should I get back on YouTube? The first time I asked, I heard nothing. So I didn't get back on. Um, then I asked again, you know, you got to pray without season. You got to, you know, do that. So I asked again, like, Lord, what am I supposed to be doing now at this point? Because I don't. I don't know. I'm so used to just entertaining people. I'm so used to pouring into people. Yeah. But now that I'm not doing it, I feel weird. I don't know what else to do. And I asked for confirmation. The first time, didn't hear nothing. The second time, I watched a, a live sermon from my church, Pastor Marquis. Right? We, we watched the sermon. Um, and he was talking about don't let your side thing get a... What is get it? in between the main thing. Yeah, don't let the side thing get in between the main thing. So the side thing was the haters, the people making videos, the people talking crazy, yeah. uh, just the overwhelming stuff that comes with being in the public eye, right? Uh, we let that affect the main thing, which was leading more people to Christ, uh, pouring, pouring into people, motivating, inspiring people. We let the side thing, which was the haters and all the naysayers, affect the main thing which was what the Lord wanted us to do in the first place like we told y'all a long time ago initially we only wanted to make ten thousand dollars a month but if you know anything how God works then you know he wants you to further his kingdom and if he can use you and he know that you're going to be the one who say who proclaims his name on a high platform most people scared to say Jesus most people scared to proclaim his name yeah. on a public platform and the fact that we're not scared to do that He's going to continue to push us further and further. So no matter what kind of videos we will make or none of that, he's going to continue to push us way farther than what we can ever expect because he knows we're going to, you know, get that name out there. So that's what it is. So we let the side thing get in, get in uh, the way of the main thing. Uh, the haters, not they're not paying the bills. You know, they're, they're just haters. We never met haters doing better than us. Never. I love the haters. Like, I don't got nothing against nobody. Yeah. I just don't. I really don't understand why people make videos about me. And they, they got their right to their own opinion. That's fine. Like I said, I'm not going to ever make no hate videos. I'm not going to yeah. see that come out of my mouth. I'm not going to respond to none of these people because there's no point. We're living a great life. As y'all can see, we're still living good. We're living great off YouTube. We're living great back on you. Like, we're, it's not going to stop. And people want reaction. Right. They want reaction. People are like, oh, you should respond to such and such. For what? Exactly. <laughs> what is that going to do? do it's not going to do nothing. They're just going to keep mm -hmm. going and keep saying what they want to say. At the end of the day, for real. Right. So if you're not, if you want this life, just know it's going to come with a lot of stuff. It's going to come with people asking for a lot of money. It's going to come for people coming for you, you know, they're going to be coming and try I'm to saying, drive your I'm, name through the mud. I'm pretty sure people saying, like, oh, they probably came back for the money. Like, if no, you were following anything absolutely while we were not. off, like, we were, we were pretty still, fine. Like, we didn't bought people cars. Like, while we was off YouTube, we bought people cars. We didn't get paying people, people bills. Like, like, we didn't still yeah. blessing people. The money was never an issue. Mm -hmm. Like, it's helping other people. And we know how to make money offline. Like, that's not even the case. It's the fact that we know that God wants us to further his kingdom. And we were doing that, and the emails that we were getting, and the stuff that people were saying, like so how we helped and blessed their families, and they need us back and stuff like that. That's why I was praying confirmation, like what should I do now, Lord? I don't even know. And that's what it was. It was like y'all need to come back on here, and, and you know, now y'all know what to expect. So when the haters do make the videos, it don't affect you as much as it did the first go round. You know what I'm saying? Stuff exactly. like that. And so please do not come inboxing us. Oh yeah. Yeah, please or, don't. You know, I like about... if y'all really rock with us, please protect our energy. Like if y'all see something that somebody made a video, because we know they gonna make them. Like it yeah, don't matter. Yeah, it comes with it. Don't send me the video on Instagram. I don't care for it. Nine times out of ten, I probably already seen it. You know what I'm saying? You I don't heard really about it right. The messenger be worse than the person making a video. Right. So it's sure. like, don't send me that. I don't. I don't like negativity. That's how people. That's what broke people do. People who make videos are broke. You know what I'm saying? It's they something inside of them. They got too much time on it. People who really yeah. making money don't got that kind of time to be 
making negative videos about somebody or throwing shade and doing all that. Like we don't have time for that. Like we we really growing, we really making money, we really inspiring and helping other people. So that's what what it's what's all about. So but at the end of the day, no matter what we say, people are always people gonna always think, think what they want. They're gonna be watching us, so like, I, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you have a problem with Jeremy or Jeremy and I, whatever, just don't watch us. Don't just, watch some us. things I will never understand. I just have to pray for people. Facts. Because it's crazy. Like if you really don't dislike somebody, why do you even waste time watching watch? them or why? anything? There's like, no point. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Be but inspired. Yeah. Be you know inspired. what I'm saying? Just switch that energy and just turn it like just be inspired. Don't, These are facts. You know. But yeah, that's that's really why we came back. So if you were wondering. That's why, you know what I'm saying? But I always pray about stuff. We always pray about stuff before we make moves because we yeah. want to operate in the Lord's will for our lives. Like, that's the only way we're going to continue. And if you successful. really know the Lord, he's always going to switch up your path. Like, you know what I'm saying? You never know what he's going to say It's next. not so about not, you. You know, you know what I'm saying? We, that's what we it understand. It's not about yeah. us. Like, we like we could, we could want to be selfish. Uh, I'm going to grab the door. But yeah, we can want to be selfish. And it was but, a know. selfish tactic. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that Jeremy and I talked about. Like, we were thinking about ourselves. Like, oh my gosh, we love being on social media. You know, it's a peace of mind for us. But then on the other hand, how are we still able to help people if we're being like too low key? Right. You know? Yep, 100%. Can't help nobody when you when can't nobody see you. They don't can't know. Yeah, you. exactly. You can't help them. So it's so. like. That's, you know, that's low-key selfish on our part, because honestly, I didn't want to come back, if I'm being 100% honest. Honestly, I didn't want to either. She didn't want to come back was, either. And still, now that we on it, still kind of like, still kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but we got to do it, because so we know, know we're going to be the only ones to do right. it. Right, a lot comes with being on social media. Facts, right? a lot comes with it. You know what I'm saying, you know saying? different yeah. moves, but yeah. that's just really the reason, y'all, so, you know, without further ado. Yo, y'all, so we out here at the pool with the beach in the background, bro. It's so lit out here. The queen over there looking amazing, as always. Ooh. But, yeah, just take a good look, y'all, what it's looking like out here. It's beautiful, man. I promise you. Don't let nobody else tell you what you can't do, y'all. Don't let them tell you what you can't do because you can do it. Oh, that ocean view dope right there, though. You see, y'all see them out there? Yeah, they meditate. Getting it in, but look. Shout outs to this one. It's the queen. It's a legend. That's something hidden. You gonna dive in? Boy, bye. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to go and get in that thing. Hold on. Beautiful out here, y'all. Being able to just come out here and live, live free. You know what I'm saying? Come out here and be able to do what you want. It's a good feeling. Y'all gotta get to this level. We're gonna make sure y'all get there. Which way you wanna go to the beach? Yeah. Alright, but yeah. We gotta make sure uh y'all get here. We gotta make sure y'all lay your best life 2021. Cause it's only gonna get better from here. If you believe it, if you don't believe it, it ain't gonna happen for you. I promise you that right now. If you don't really believe you can get here, if you don't really believe you can make money in Forex, if you don't really believe you can make money, period, online, or whatever it is you're trying to do, it ain't gonna work for you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that right, Queen? Yes, sir. Ooh. She ain't gonna play no games. <laughs> we are on this beautiful sand. Sand in my soul. Sand on the beach. Do -do -do -do. Ain't that what SpongeBob said? <laughs> ain't that what SpongeBob said? So. Yeah. How's it going? You're doing great, man. Out here living the life. But yeah. You see the little, uh, the little pier? They all on your toes. <laughs> yeah. You want some chairs out here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah two, two chairs would be perfect. But yeah, let me, look. Yeah, it's already set up. Man, look at this, bro. And to be able to come out here and just do this, spare the moment anytime, it's the best feeling ever. You know what I'm saying? When you're at work, they tell you when to go to the bathroom. They tell you when you can take a break. They tell you when you can go on vacation. But when you work for yourself, you can do this forever. At any time of the day, 
all day. Oh yeah, we need these views right here. We need this seat right here, right on the water. They over there surfing. I ain't mad at y'all out here. On a Sunday though, beautiful. Oh, we appreciate that, brother. Bro, look at my long legs, bro. <laughs> Got them legs out there. Let me see. Let them see your ankle, though. So now we can finally get it up close. Let me come this way with it. All right, y'all. So boom. Look at the ankle, though. The L E J I A. Ain't coming to play. A -A. She ain't coming to play. We sitting up her under this tent. You know what I'm saying? Money well spent. What they say? It's money well spent. You know what I'm saying? Living the dream, big fella. But yeah, man. You know, I just got to drop the motivation for y'all, man. Like I said, we did it. So we know y'all can do it. Y'all just got to actually believe it's, it's possible. Y'all got to stay on the gas and y'all can't quit. No matter what it is. I don't care what you're doing. If you quit, it just really let us know you don't want to know what. You know what I'm saying? Queen with her boutique. She'll love you. Speaking of boutiques, make sure y'all go shop at my wife's boutique. It's fire. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I bring that heat. She bring that heat. She got the summer, winter, fall, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, y'all. So, for those of y'all who be asking me, like, what leverage do I use? I use one to one thousand or one to five hundred, but that's me. That's just because that's what some of the unregulated brokers offer. So, I use the highest leverage possible to get the best results. But for somebody just starting out, I would say go with one to uh, uh, fifty or one to one hundred, one to two hundred. But you just won't be able to place as many trades and you won't be able to go as risky. But like I said, starting out, that's cool. Until you get really good at the craft, then you can kind of go a little riskier on your end. But that's going to be completely up to you. Um, what other questions did y'all have? On, uh, I explained how to do the NBA strategy further in, in my course, though. I did explain like what to look for, what not to look for, because sometimes it does continue to go up. Um, when it hits 75 and I explain all that. So if you already got that, that's already updated in the course. Um, what else should I be having questions about, man? Right? The broker, somebody asked me, do I still use Trader's Way? I still use Trader's Way. It's just since they changed their policy, they're not allowing any more U.S. citizens. Um, I don't know if they're still saying, they're not allowing any more U.S. citizens inside of Trader's Way unless you go through my personal link. Um, but through that personal link, it is a swap commission and a uh, regular commission. So I put two extra brokers that I use, which are in the description below, um, for for the people who are in the U.S. who still want to get, you know, the brokers that I use. Cause I use all the brokers I got. So yeah. Uh, this this right here is super dope man just being able to come out here relax see the water see the people that's out here it's like bro it don't get no better than this you got to get your money right like grant cardone said you got to get your money right man come out here and just and just live you know i'm just walking to the edge of this just so i can see the view people out here uh she out here doing her thing <laughs> there you go. but yeah I had to come out here and get a, and get a good look at this. Get a good look at this water. This is nice. This is really nice, y'all. But yeah, you don't get here, y'all, by just you know. You don't get here by just dreaming. You get here by putting in work. You know what I'm saying? You get. You get here by doing a lot of stuff. Dude, this is crazy. This is wild. But yeah, you gotta you gotta put in the work to be great, man. You gotta put in the work to be great. I tell people all the time, man, don't give up at Forex. Don't do it. Don't give up. It's worth it. You just gotta put in that work. You know what I'm saying? Longevity is what wins. You know what I'm talking about? I love it. I love it, man. It's a good feeling. But yeah, we about to go uh, do some things, and I'll let y'all in a minute. Next up, 
Massages. Boy, that was the most relaxing time we can ever have, huh? Oh, man. Oh, man. Relaxing at the beach. We're about to go back out there tonight, though. Got to. You are. We ain't going back out there tonight? We're going out to eat. You think I'm going to feel like going out there in some hills? Ooh, she fired me up. Well, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> to get out of view of where we at. So this is our table that we on right now. And then in the front of us, we got this cool little, uh, little water me down little thing. <laughs> then the queen. Then they got the ocean way back there. I don't think I can see it. Then palm trees. So we just surrounded by the... And then if you look up, it's like all the rooms and all that. So, yeah. So that's what it looked like. Bray, waiting on this good old food though. Y'all listen, so we just got pause. Can we acknowledge the fact that my wife is nosy? Look at her just staring all in the people conversation. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Massage and a body scrub, right? Feels so good. Feels so good. Except for that body scrub, let me tell you. Boy, it felt like Wolverine's claws was firing me up. They were scrubbing me with this. They were scrubbing me with that, right? Tearing my skin off. I'm used to it because I don't want to scrub my exfoliate, is what I call it. I always scrub yeah, myself. Yeah, I, I, I show when you said, I'm like, bro, this hurt, but I'm trying to take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm laying on the table. When they just scrub me, I say, well, that's going to hurt. I said, it felt like a hairbrush. They just scratching your skin up. I'm like, what the? Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. So. It's a bad thing. I'm You know me. Yes, I'm I do. I'm over there like, Lord. Wait, ready for the over? Right. <laughs> <laughs> They put these little hot oil driplets on me. That felt good at first until she put one dose on that. Kind of make your heart sit back. Wait was, a it, was it on your back? Yeah, she put it on the back and the front. Yeah, his back is so sensitive. My back's sensitive, boy. Okay, I said, we in the no. shower, he be crying. We crying in the shower, yeah. <laughs> I like the water hot. Y'all know most women. Yeah, women like, like the water on fire. I can't do it, you know what I'm saying? But everything else was good. And she got on these shoulders because I got like imbalance because I used to hoop, right? I still hoop though. Don't get plugged with them, so don't play with them. But like my shoulders be like off, so they be really digging in there. That deep tissue be hurting. Other than that though, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's got their body scrubbed up, you know what I'm saying? Now I feel like a baby. We were gonna go out to eat because every time we travel, we go someplace fancy, but they don't feel like leaving. Yeah, so like it I do like it here. Mm -hmm. I do really like it here. I'll be on the drive the out. We was at the so. beach for like three hours though. Three, four hours. But Sweet. I do like um going out, but just something about the Ritz, I don't know. We just got everything right here. Fancy restaurants, the beach right at the bottom. I mean like shoot, what do you want? Everything like it is here. So that's what it is. We were supposed to ride bikes earlier, but we didn't do that. So. I'm asleep, y'all. Yeah, yeah, the beach, that beach vibe was just, it was just too lit. Right? It was quiet, Charles. Quiet, like, your own private beach, yo. Know? Ritz got his own private section, so. If you saw that Let's beach. Right, mm -hmm. you can't, you can't even be on that side. Of it, you know? so, that's what's dope about it. This likes We might go back out there, because he likes to go back out there. Oh, yeah, nighttime would probably be lit. Oh, this likes is this uh, likes the complimentary food. Complimentary food. Okay. We had it at the last hotel. Right. Yeah, at the Sate in Miami. Yo, they, they service is amazing. They got candy in there, drinks, everything. Like, at this one, which we paid a lot more, they didn't even have nothing in there. Like, they didn't have they, no, they, they blamed have, everything on COVID. Right. Oh, they blamed it on COVID, but even the Sate during COVID had everything, so I don't know. But other than that, this is this is super lit, like, hotel or whatever you call it, penthouse mansion whatever you want to call it thing yeah. that thing nice. it's really really nice though so if y'all ever you know get y'all money up uh, you know what i'm saying which they will which they will you know what i mean you can always come with a group of people or you can just come with you and your boot you know <laughs> put a ring on the first no fornicating come on now but yeah so other than that man we're about to get to this food and i'm gonna holler at y'all if we do something else if not then that's it all right, y'all, so, wife. I know you guys are excited. Uh-huh, yeah. About Jay Cash being back. Come on now. And I get it. You know, his Instagram is definitely flooded. Mm -hmm. um, that's why he does have an assistant mm -hmm. who answers all emails and inboxes because it is too much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. But yeah, 
because it is too much. Uh -huh. But please. Well, you know, um, I feel like a menu. Just a menu. Oh, uh, yeah, we do need a menu. Yeah, we do need a menu. Do you settle? No. Okay. So, yes. What was I saying? Okay, yeah, he's Instagram flooded. He does have an assistant that answers my yeah. emails and inboxes. I do got an assistant. So, with all due respect, please, I beg you, do not inbox me mm -hmm. asking me to tell my husband to check your messages. I'm not his assistant. Okay? Right. I am his wife. Mm -hmm. It is not my job to relay messages. Yep. And I know you guys are anxious to get a hold of him, but he already has an assistant for it. You just have to be patient. Be patient. Please do not write me saying, can you please tell him to check my message? And just do all, I'm not his assistant. Right. I'm just, his wife. Like, just don't write her about Forex. Just don't, just don't, don't yeah. you know, my wife focus on her boutique, you know what I'm saying? And my so, other things I got growing and up right now, other things you got going, like me, things. I'm the Forex person, so. Yeah. Just write me and wait and be patient My, you know, my assistant yeah. will get to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I love y'all, and I'm so glad it was able to motivate and inspire, but yeah, when it comes to Forex, I'm no longer tapped into that at this present moment, because right. I'm trying to flourish in my other streams of income right now, so yeah, yeah I just kind of put that on hold. Right. I mean, I don't need to. Anyway. I mean, y'all about to say that because I have the guru. <laughs> <laughs> With right the quote. Here, mm -hmm. Right here to do it all. But anything else, I mean, y'all want to know about budgeting, saving. I mean, I can help you with stuff like that. Multiple streams. You know, your girl got you. When she it comes got to Forex, do not. I'll let your boy. You know <laughs> be, be patient. That's all it is. You know? Yeah. But that makes me feel like I'm his patient. I mean, I said patient. Not patient. That makes me feel like I'm his assistant or something. Right. Like I'm his wife, y'all. So please yeah. have respect. Thank you.